Hi guys, it's me, Music Clues here. Uh, just so you guys know, this has been pre-recorded, uh, specifically for the next DLC character, Terry, who has just released, as this video has gone up, for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And I actually have the leader of a project I am working on currently uh, for Super Smash Bros. Spirits, um, uh, Flynn Suiku, is that how you say his name, dude? No, my name is Finn Suzune. Thank you. <laughs> I've been trying to <laughs> figure out how to pronounce that for the life of me. <laughs> uh, oh, that's cool. Uh, a lot of people get it wrong, actually, because, you see, the thing is, um, the Suzune part of my name is actually from a dead Vocaloid that was called Ring Suzune, but she never came out. So I figured, hey, why don't I use the Suzune part and, and make a nickname out of it for my online alias, you know? So, so that's how that came to be. Oh, okay. So that's where that came from. I was wondering. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm here. I'm here with. Uh, you mind if I just call you Finn? It's easy. Yeah, I, I, pretty much everybody does. <laughs> okay, well, I'm here with Finn, and today we're going to be talking about his history as a gamer, as well as the project we are working on, which is a description project for Super Smash Bros. Spirits. Uh, so, Finn, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? So, so far, I mean, I know you're the lead of the Smash Bros. project, but what else do you do beside that? Uh, well... Uh, I mean, basically what he wanted me to do here was talk about me as a gamer, but I guess I can talk a little bit about me as a person, too. Um, I'm pretty much a college student. But, well, I used to be, but I am going to transfer to another college soon because I want to be a psychology uh, major. That's what I'm working on in real life, but here in the world of video games... Um, I'm pretty much as big of, of a Nintendo nerd as anybody, really. I basically play all the latest Nintendo games, so on and so forth. And, uh, well, since I'm introducing myself, uh, I might as well introduce a uh, fun fact about me as far as games go. Uh, my very first game, in general, at all, uh, my mom told me about this when I was like two years old. It actually was an old Sesame Street game on the computer. You know, like back in the day, during the 90s and all that. Um, it was actually a point-and-click adventure game, since you basically play as the Sherlock Holmes-like character, and that's basically how I got into gaming, thanks to Sesame Street. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that was going to be one of the first actual gaming questions I was going to ask you, so that, there you go. Uh, I got that one answered. Uh, but that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> Cool, cool. Well, we all get into gaming somehow, so that's pretty awesome. So, um, um, another question for you to, uh, be able to get the, set the premise before we get to talk about Smash Brothers, um, is, what, uh, so, have you been a Nintendo fan all your life, life, uh, after Sesame Street? Us, or did you get it? Or uh, did you wait until much, much later, like around Wii or 3DS or Wii U or Switch? Did you, were you did you play any earlier consoles? Oh yeah. Um, the thing is, uh, well, of course, it wasn't around when the NES and Super NES came out. Since that was like in the 80s and uh, early 90s. Since I was born in 1995, but. Uh, my cousin, he owned uh, a couple, oh, my sister too, yeah, my sister and one of my cousins gave me a couple of hand-me-down consoles. One was the Super Nintendo, and the other was the Sega Genesis. So I was one of those uh, rare kids in the world back in the 90s that had both consoles at the same time. So <laughs> when you think about it, it's kind of special though. Anyway, um, but anyway, I pretty much got into gaming at that point since I had games like uh, the, uh, what was it called? Uh, it was that remake on the Super Nintendo of the first three Mario games. I played that one a ton. Super Mario All-Stars? Back in the day. Oh, yes, yes, the Mario All-Stars collection. That was the one. Uh, I played a lot of that growing up. Um, I also played Kirby's Avalanche. Uh, and of course, I got into Sonic heavily 
back then too. That's the that, that's how my love for Sonic and a lot of the other Sega games started back then. Um, although I don't, I'm not sure why, but I never got an N, I never got an N64 or a Dreamcast back then since I just wasn't aware of gaming at the time. I was just a little kid playing my little t- toys and, and such, you know. Uh, let's see what else? Oh right, Mario Kart. That's another big one. Donkey Kong Country, uh, Links to the Past, uh, what was another one? Um, I think I might play Chrono Ch- Trigger at one point, but I can't remember since I don't know the cartridge anymore. Um, but yeah, I basically got into Nintendo at a very early age, and at a time when uh, a, lot of st- a lot of stuff was happening since, you know, at that point, there was the PlayStation 1, the N64, but... I guess I never owned those consoles since I was at a young age, maybe? Um, I, I do remember my sister used to play a lot of the PS1 back in the day, though, because um, I was like three years old, and I remember sometimes I would go into her room and just sit there and watch play games like Tomb Raider and Final Fantasy VIII. It was a good time. Wow, that's very cool, dude. That's uh, honestly very cool. Gonna be honest, honest. That's the third, per- you know, the third person I've ta- talked to that actually uh, got into Sonic at a very young age. Cause my uh, another fellow Go gamer of ours on the team, Ethan N, uh, his first game was actually Sonic One. So ironically, we all got into Sonic when we were younger. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then we can sign all the youngsters for today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed. Uh, so, uh, here's, here's a good question. What has been your fa- what's your favorite Nintendo game game of all time? Hmm. Now that should make you think. Mm-mm. Oh, that's a very hard one. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I really enjoy Twilight Princess. Like, I know Ocarina... And uh, Skyward Sword, to a certain extent, are the oh, and the Majora's Mask. I know those three are the more popular picks, and Twilight is kind of left in the corner. But I don't know. Like, you see, the thing is, I knew Zelda existed since I played Melee and Brawl. Um, but you see, one time, uh, the reason why I got a Wii in the first place was because I saw my cousin playing a Wii because he got a launch, and I just sat there in his room. He was playing a bit of Wii Sports here and there. But the game that really got me interested in getting the system was Twilight Princess. Like, I saw him uh, riding a poem and going to Death Mountain in the Fire Temple. And I, I was away from the screen. Like, I was, uh, I was uh, entranced, pretty much. And I was like, I got to get this game in the system. And, well, of course, back then, uh, it was very hard to get a Wii. Uh, the funny thing was, uh, me and my mom, we went to the GameStop in my, uh, local t- and we actually had to go to the back of the building in order to get the Wii console and pay for it, because <laughs> it was sold out everywhere, but, the, uh, one of the employees, um, I think it was the manager, uh, basically, uh, we kept coming in, and they kept saying, no, there's no more Wiis, but one day he called us to come to the back of the, uh, of the store, and I was able to get a copy of that game alongside uh, Twilight Princess and Wii Sports, of course, that came with the system. And that's how I pretty much got a Wii in the, in the first place. But to answer your question, um, hmm, it's, it's very hard. Like, I guess, uh, I guess some of my favorite games fall, fall within the GameCube and Wii era, but there's a lot of good ones on the Wii U and, of course, the Switch, obviously. Uh, hmm. I guess my favorite one, uh, you know what? Why, why not? I'm just gonna go with Twilight Princess. Fair enough, dude, I know. That one's a hard question. I'm not gonna lie when I say, say I have a hard time choosing my top number one favorite, too. But I have to, I have to ask that. Here's probably a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, hmm? I mean, there's a lot of other great games I could have chosen, but, uh, is it choosing something on the spot like that? I'm like, eh, I'll go with Twilight Princess. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, 
Oh, uh, another qu one more question before we start talking about the project. Uh, what is currently, currently your top three favorite Switch games since you do own a Switch? I mean, who doesn't at this point? <laughs> Yes, it's very true. Um, let's see, well, a lot of great stuff's been coming out in the past three years. I mean, sure, there could be a couple more hits here and there, um, but Nintendo's really done a great job with the system, now I think about it, because the thing is, I was one of the owners of the Wii U day one, so I know exactly what it's like to go through a rough patch with a company you love so much, you know, so... I've been there, I've done that, and I'm veteran, so there you go. Um, let's see, my top three favorite Switch games. Well, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate being one, of course. <laughs> uh, the other two... Hmm... Uh... You know what, I'm gonna ch I'm gonna choose an indie game, since why the heck not? Uh... Let's see, there's a lot- there's been a lot of great ones here and there. Um... Uh, it's a bit of a recent pick of mine, but I had such a great time with it, I figured I'll go with this one. Um, I don't have much history with this franchise yet, but ever since I tried River City Girls, I just, oh man, it's, it's, it's so much fun. I haven't played a beat-em-up in such a long time. Like, probably one of my favorite beat-em-ups is the TMNT Turtles in Time game. That one is such a such blast to play. And you never really seen that kind of genre take off, off like, say, 3D platformers or FPS games. It, it just kind of died off a little bit over time, you know? So to see that genre come back in such a big way, it just... It was really cool to see. And playing as Misako and Kyoko was so much fun. Um, uh, oh, okay. I see. I didn't catch that. So you were talking about Ruby City Girls? Yes, yes, I was. Uh, it's a recent game that came out early this year. Um, it's, uh, I believe it's categorized as a spin-off of the River City Ransom series. That is uh, correct. But, right. But since I had such a great time playing on the Switch, I figured why not go with that for number two, you know? That's, um, to that's totally fair. I actually have the limited edition, uh, limited run edition, edition on pre-order for both PlayStation and Switch, which should be coming in very soon here. <laughs> oh, right. Limited run games did, did do something like that. I, I admit I am a little jealous because I was considering getting going for the physical uh, collector's edition, but you know it's kind of expensive, and it, I didn't want to spend too much money, so I just went with digital. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. No, no, you were better off anyways. I had to. I unfortunately had to accidentally bought the sec uh, the Switch version because they had. I didn't see that they had a second time for it, so I ended up getting two versions, and it nearly costed me two hundred dollars. So never making that oh mistake again. Ugh, <laughs> uh, the the stuff that we gamers have to go through sometimes. I know, right? All right, and what's your third favorite Switch game? Okay, um, let's see, I think I'm gonna go for a uh, first party game this time around, uh, or maybe or maybe one of the third party ports, maybe, uh, hold on, hold on let me see, um, uh, let's see, well, Astral Chain has been amazing, and Fly of Three Houses is pretty great too, uh, although, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. My third favorite game is Super Mario Odyssey. Like, like, I had so much fun playing the game when it came out in 2017, and I've actually been considering going back and doing a second playthrough, like a brand new save file just for the heck of it, since I haven't played it since then. So, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, totally, totally. Plenty of people have said Odyssey is a very great, great game. Awesome flaws, but Mario, Mario uh, that not even Mario can get away from. But hey, Odyssey is one of my favorite Mario games of all time myself. So I don't blame you, blame you for choosing that as your third. Um, so yeah, I think that was a very good summary of what, who, uh, who you, uh, uh, what you do, and a little bit of background of your gaming history. So let's start talking about the Super Smash Bros. description project that we are working on. So why don't you give a little bit of a uh, background history of how this project got started? Okay. Um. So I'm sure all of you know by this 
point that the descriptions in the game itself, they don't have descriptions. Uh, I mean, the spirits. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sure you all know that the spirits don't have descriptions like trophies used to have in the other Smash games. So, so when, when, when the spirits were announced for the game, I was like, oh man, this is so awesome. This is so much better than trophies. I can't wait to see all the amazing descriptions the game's gonna offer. And then, at the time, at around uh, November, I think, uh, the game started getting leaked online. So I was like, oh wow, this is so cool. Uh, all the cool stuff is getting to the game and everything. So, but what puzzled me at the time was there was no talk about spirits at all, because I was like, hmm. It's strange. It, I was like, hmm. I wonder why there hasn't been any talk about spirit descriptions. Because if there was any, that still would have been leaks uh, a long time ago. So I tr tried to investigate this. I found a couple of data miners on Discord, and I talked to them. I asked them if they could investigate the, And then they got back to me and they said, Nope, there's no descriptions for any of the spirits. <laughs> and you could not imagine how horrified and shocked I was at this fact. I was like, ugh. Oh man, all this representation and no descriptions? So, I was like, okay, that's it. If Nintendo's not gonna do this, then I'm going to do it myself. And, well, in retrospect, I probably shouldn't have thought like that. So they're the best at what they do, but it felt like such a missed opportunity, especially with how World of Light works, where basically you battle all these spirits, and they had all these little references, but... <clears throat> They have all these references to their games and stuff, and, and about their characters, but if you, have, if you haven't played them, then you don't really know them as characters, you know? So, as a result, I, uh, I pretty much started my own Discord server uh, back in January, and uh, it was basically me at the time, and the only thing on there was just a Mario description that I wrote by myself, which was about Mario himself. Uh, then, uh, school was starting to get more serious for me since, uh, I actually graduated early this year, so as a result I had to stop what I was doing, and then sometime in April 2019, that's when, that, that's when I got a couple friends from Twitter to, to join my uh, server, and to my surprise, they were actually willing to get on board and help me start this thing. Uh, so then things started getting more elaborate. I started adding uh, more spirit renders to the server so that we'll have an idea of what to cover. And then later down the line, more and more people just started showing up all of a sudden, including music clues here. Um, and I was like, oh my god, all these pe amazing people are coming, they're, are helping me make this thing. They're, they're, they're coming together and doing something amazing here. I was like, yes, I can finally put, make my dream come true. Um, and that's basically the history of how the project started. We're, uh, as, as, as of right now, um, well, this will probably change when Terry comes out, but as of right now, we're at about 1,000, uh, yeah, 1,050 spirits as of the making of this recording, right? And the fact that we've gotten that far is just absolutely mind-blowing to me. We still have some more ground to cover since there is about, um, let's see, there's about 100 and, 100 and, 100, 1,350 uh, spirits. Yeah, I, I think that's right. So we still have some ground to cover, but the fact that we made it this far is just astounding to me, so. I couldn't be more thankful for Music Clues, everyone else that's been helping me so far. So, yeah, that's pretty much the history right there. That's a very, that's very, very, very amazing. Uh, of course, we can't, uh, we, uh, of course, uh, to what you said earlier about you shouldn't have reacted like that, that about what happened, uh, uh, you being disappointed about the spirits. And fairness to Nintendo, we did, the fact that uh, you said alone that there's one thousand spirits that we've already covered, well, one thousand plus, I should say, and there's still one thousand plus left, plus all the DLC and the spirits that Nintendo keeps adding with the spirit board events. Uh... I can't say I necessarily blame Sakurai for skipping on the uh, descriptions this time. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, what we did was a lot of uh, hard work and uh, time, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely. And the fact that we're even getting more DLC, uh, uh, DLC uh, fighters, yeah, that was confirmed by me. Uh, kinda surprised! Makes you wonder what that last DLC is gonna be, uh, a DLC character at the Game Awards is gonna be, hmm? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, honestly, honestly, uh, like he said, said, uh, a lot of people have joined the Discord server. If you guys want to join the Discord server, server and write spirits for us, I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, but, um, is there any... Uh, let me see, so, uh, could you tell us how the project works? Like, how it work, uh, how things are working so far? Cause I know- Oh, I yes, yes, of course, like, of course we're not gonna leave people hanging here, you know? Uh, okay, so basically the, the way things work is we're trying to aim for a writing style that's very similar to, uh, the descriptions from Smash Bros. What, for Smash 4, cause you know how because, uh, like, in Brawl, it was very, uh, by, uh, by the book, and, uh, uh, what, what's the word, uh, trying to make you more knowledgeable about them as characters, and that's great and all, but when Smash 4 came out, it, it, it feels a, a bit more, what's the word, uh, freeform and tongue-in-cheek, since you got a lot of these references here and there, and, like, uh, basically all the descriptions in Smash 4 are very fun to read, you know? Um, so that's the kind of that's the writing style we're trying to go for. Not to mention, uh, not to mention how the fighter characters are as fighters in, in Smash Brothers. So uh, that's how that works. But as for the Discord server itself, uh, basically uh, there's all these threads that we made, and there's like a lot <laughs> for each individual game series. Like you got all the fighter franchises like Mario, Zelda. Pokemon, Donkey Kong, uh, Metroid, so on and so forth. And then you got all the other uh, channels and uh, for for the, for the lower uh, for the less well-known stuff like Rhythm Heaven, uh, Captain Rainbow, Chibi Robo, uh, and a bunch of other things here and there. And then, uh, but you see those franchises, uh, I categorize them in a way. It's where all uh, franchises like Captain Rainbow uh, can receive a channel. Uh, I mean, yeah, channel, because uh, those franchises have two uh, spirits per franchise. Meanwhile, all the others that are just one spirit, like, uh, say, um, uh, what was it, uh, and Kinsaku? Is that his name? Uh, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, obscure spirits here and there. So, those spirits, the ones that are just one-offs with their uh, representation, they go into their own specific big channel called Miscellanea. That's where all the miscellany spirits with just one spirit go to. So, it's organized in that way. Right? Like, I'm trying to tell you how it works, but it's a lot easier to see for yourself if you go into the Discord link and see how everything is uh, categorized. So, if you want more specifics on that, uh, if you want more specifics on that, uh, tr try and see for yourself in the link below. Um, so, that's how. But uh huh. That's to totally cool, dude. That's totally cool. Yeah, it's better you see it for yourself, guys. Trust me on this. Uh, if Nintendo keeps adding spirits like uh, spirits like this for the spirit board, well, we're gonna uh, the Discord server is gonna get pretty big. Uh, Oh, oh, that's right. Uh, since we're still getting uh, DLC for the game as well as spirits, uh, every time they announce uh, a new, uh, every time they announce a new uh, game world coming to the series, like Terry Bogart, for example, with the Fatal Fury and King of Fighters series, uh, as soon as the, as soon as I see whatever's going on in the world of Smash, I go to the Discord server and add a brand new channel. Uh, for that specific uh, game franchise, uh, so that's pretty much that's pretty much our game plan for uh, as far as Smash DLC goes. Yeah, definitely. In terms of the initial spirits that came with launch, we're still covering ground, ground, so we definitely could use some help. 
like literally you somehow. <laughs> uh, could you say that again? I, I couldn't hear you at all. We could literally use some help! Was that loud enough? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all seriousness, guys. Guys, we need need, need some help. We uh, The fact we got to 1,000 is great enough, but if we could get more people in here, that'd be awesome. So yeah. Uh, I guess that means for those who join, we should explain how um, taking up the spirit and writing for it works, so that way... All right, how could I possibly forget? Okay, so, uh, back when this, back when the project was starting to get off the ground, um, one of our members, uh, uh, one of our former members, was very kind enough to make this gigantic, uh, well, okay, it's not uh, totally gigantic, but you know what I mean. Uh, he took the time out of his day to make the spreadsheet uh, via Google via Google Docs, um, and pretty much uh, all the spirits are there, and they're all categorized in the way so that everybody knows who, who, who which spirits belong to who and which spirits have been written for, so on and so forth. So the way it works there, we have three colors that we use for color coding: uh, yellow means that the spirit uh yellow means that the, that the spirit has been written for already green means that the spirit description is finalized which which we haven't done yet since we're still working on all of them so we haven't gone to stage yet and then there's purple which shows recently got claimed uh but have or just yet um and i guess if I guess there's technically a fourth on there already for a lot of them is white, which basically says that those spirits haven't been claimed yet at all. If you see a, if you see a particular character or franchise you want to work for, uh, you, you want to write spirits for, and they haven't been claimed yet, then basically, basically what you do is you tell me via DM, uh, then I'll announce on there that to claim this spirit, this this may spirit, and then pretty much the rest is up to you. Yes. Uh, one thing, one thing we could, do, uh, you can do though is co-op with other members inside the project to help out, help out with the descriptions. I've done that several times before. For and I'm probably going to need to do it again for another one I'm working on. Uh, <laughs> you know which one in particular thing. Uh, but. Oh, that's right. You're still working on that Ben Chikazooie sp uh, spirit description. Shh! Not so loud, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if people go on there and they see your name, it's it's gonna be they're gonna know. So I figure we want to tell you one now. Yeah. yeah, all right. Just, that's fair. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm working on Ben Chikazooie's description at the moment, so. Um, Finn, Finn, if you could, uh, I'm not sure if you can, uh, send a, uh, message, message to one of the members, but I could use a little help working on the moves that why I get Banjo's regular description done. Cause I've been, I have been so busy, I haven't even gotten, gotten half of it finished. <laughs> Perfectly understandable. Uh, I've been a little busy myself here. Yeah. Um. Oh, but, oh right, that's another nice thing. Um. Uh, collaboration is key in this project. So if you have with uh, nailing down certain aspects of a character or whatever, uh, basically you'll, you'll you'll be able to see a little. And if they're willing, well, and basically, basically one of the rules is you can ask for help whenever you need it. So if you want to work with somebody or collaborate uh, when writing descriptions, you can totally do. Yeah, uh, tr uh, trust me, when you don't know something about a franchise that's very obscure, uh, it really helps. Helps to have someone who does know the subject. subject, Or basically a, fi a franchise that you know basically nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody knows Mario, but who knows Pokemon like the back of their hands? Not me. Me, and I've been a vet veteran for the series for years. Uh, so it really helps to have people who are around to write about descriptions about stuff. Stuff. So if you want to collab, go right ahead. 
what I what if uh, what uh, like I said, we could really use as much help as we get. So please spread the word about the project. Um, now, of course, the number this number is probably gonna go up, but at at the moment we have reached one thousand spirits in terms of uh, both probably base and DLC. Um, and we still have a lot more to go, so I would re again, we both really appreciate it if you would, um, help spread the word. Do you want to give any shoutouts to any members in particular, too? Um, well, I mean, uh, a lot of you guys have been doing some amazing work over the past few months, like, uh, uh, especially the summer. We, we, we got so much stuff done, we got so much stuff done during the summer, so... That was great. Um, I guess I would say that I'm very honored that a couple of the uh, Source Gaming members joined on the project. Uh, uh, yeah, we actually have a couple of those guys helping us. Uh, Nance and Jex and Wolfman. Those two have been absolutely amazing. They've been such a huge help. Um, let's see, uh, Legendary Bravery has been uh, pretty awesome too. And of course, Music Clues here has been doing great. Uh, Ace Heat has been doing awesome. Uh, Sir Purple, uh, he actually made, uh, uh the cool thing, uh, okay, so, uh, Sir Purple, he, uh, I recently made a video, uh, detailing the project and how far we've come so far. You can check it out on my channel, but basically, uh, like, halfway through the video, we debuted this, uh, really cool template that makes all the, that makes all the descriptions look like if they were presented like trophies. So he's been doing some excellent work there. Uh, let's see, who else we got here? I'm taking a look at the members list, by the way. Uh, Raw Fun Future has been doing awesome, too. Uh, let's see, who else? Uh, then we also got uh, a couple of newer members. Uh, I can't say his name since it's a uh, uh, a little, uh, how should I say? Oh wait, never mind. He changed. Uh, I think it's like a oh, oh. that's a little weird. Uh, but he's been doing pretty good too. Uh, he recently uh, got all the Golden Sun spirits, so he's been doing pretty good there too. Uh, let's see who else? And, uh, yeah, it's basically all the current members that have been uh, doing recent stuff so far. Um, I, I mean. It's kind of hard to choose which one, uh, w w which one do a shadow in particular, but I guess it kind of did a shadow for everybody, so there you go. That's good, that's good, good to hear. Uh, th thanks dude, this amazing, it's been an uh, honor honestly to be part of this project too, too, because I've been able to write for some of my uh, favorite fighters, fighters. Of course, I do appreciate the honest criticism that you do give me in the end. Uh, and because I am not a perfect yeah. team, <laughs> so th thank you for being uh, honest with me. It really appreciate. It's really key to this project, project, and I really hope that more people jump aboard. Uh, 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 like I said, said uh, there's another reason why I want to do this interview to spread more, and more, and more as much wood as I can about this project because everybody deserves it. And if we get more and more members, members, I think we'll get. Uh, I think, think we'll be ready to tackle anything that Nintendo throws at us. Let's hope the DLC you know, doesn't Absolutely. go Absolutely. Um, there is one thing I do want to say. Oh yeah. This is a, a statement I've been wanting to get out the gallons of the world for a while. Well, basically, I too have been trying to get the word out about, about this project since, of course, I'm the one who started it all in the first place. Um, but the thing is, like, I know me and Music Clues here are doing something great here with this podcast and all, but this is a really, but honestly, I think this is a really big deal because it's not just about me or or, uh, or the members or certain people in particular. This is bigger than us. Like. This is literally representing game history. Like I know what I'm saying sound may sound a little intimidating, but if you want to be a part of this, then this is a big deal because uh well, okay. <laughs> like I said, this is about game history. Um and representing it uh the best way possible. Like the way Sakurai and his team would would do it if they actually did descriptions for all these characters. So if you wanna be a part of that, we'll be more than Happy to work with you and see what you want to do and stuff. 
Oh. That, that's pretty much what I was saying. Ah, oh, totally, dude. Dude, dude, that's totally fine. Fine. Uh, yeah, I would be. be uh, I would really like to say that too, too, because this is really. Be, uh, this is not a. This is a very huge undertaking, guys. Normally, writing projects like this usually. Uh, fall off, and I'm talking not just Smash, but I'm talking like games in general for writing projects. They usually fall apart after a while. While, unless it's a translation pot project for an old game, then that's otherwise. That's the thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so I would, uh, so if you want to pretty much make history, history with this, this would be part of probably one of the biggest undertakings in all of gaming history. Then now's the time. Now is the time. Time. And considering we don't know how long Nintendo's gonna keep the DLC up, up, I would say, say, uh, tackling, uh, if you are, now nah, you don't wanna do too much, but if you are a big fan of King of Fighters, please come into the server, because I'm pretty sure outside of a couple members, none of us have played a King of Fighters game for a lot, for a lot, the life of us, so we could use an expert. <laughs> uh, to write this yeah, game. I mean, I was, I was really surprised that one of us actually did one for Terry Bogart already. Uh, I won't, uh, uh, if you guys are curious, you can actually take a look at my, uh, video on my channel, because that's where I debuted it to the world, so, if you want to go check it out, go there. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check it out. Um, I, I think that does, does it really. Um, you have any final thoughts, any closing words you want to say? Uh, well, I just want to say thank you for bringing me on here since I don't really do podcasts that much. So this is kind of a new thing for me, uh, but it was a lot of fun. I, I had a lot of fun here talking with you, and I hope you guys out there have fun too. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I hope you guys didn't find my voice too nerdy or grating or whatever, because I don't do a whole lot of talking like this. Um, so I hope you guys had fun, and I had fun too. Oh, 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 Dad, trust me. When it comes to Nerdy, Nerdy, uh, <laughs> they put, uh, 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 they put pretty much my voice, voice for a long time. And I felt the exact same way when I started to talk, talk for updates and stuff on the, uh, my YouTube. So, you're not the only one that felt that way. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you guys actually like my voice, then you'll be able to hear more of that in my. Uh, recent videos since I actually did talk, although it was kind of hard doing it since I was reading off the script, so if I sound a little stilted, that's fine. It's cool, dude, it's cool. Well, again, thank you, Flynn, for joining us, and, um, yeah, uh, uh, again, guys, I will leave the links to everything we talked about, uh, everything I mentioned, mentioned that we said we leave links below in the description, um, and, of course, I'll leave a link to the uh, description below to both Flynn's Twitter and the Super Smash Brothers description project, so you guys can, uh, join the board, and, um, yeah, all right. Uh, like I said, this recording is pre-recorded, so this is recorded before... Oh, oh, that's right. Uh, since you mentioned my Twitter, um, on there, I also have this thread that I made that, that, that I pinned to my profile, and basically, it's this gigantic thread of some of the descriptions, uh, showcase every, uh, once in a while. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually planning on doing a Halloween-themed, uh, showcase later, so, it, so... If you go to my Twitter, you'll find all that there. Oh, ah, okay. Well, thank you for letting me know. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. If you, uh, it, again, this is pre-recorded before Terry got released, so it would not... Oh, right, right. Uh, what I meant was, when I said this month was in the month of October, yes. <laughs> That's okay, dude. That's totally okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, this pre-recorded before Terry got released, so, uh, this is, right, as you can tell, this is on October, in fact, this is Saturday, October 2019, uh, uh, so... It's the uh, 19th. Yep, so, that's basically, uh, like, literally two weeks before Luigi's Mansion comes out, so, uh, <laughs> 
yeah, a little beforehand. But um, when it, uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed this pre-recorded podcast. I have more Gamers fans coming. I got three video interviews lined up. The phone was one of them, and I have two others. So they'll probably come out probably before this. So please, I'll leave the links in the description below to those two. And um, yeah. For now, this is yours truly, DJ Music Clues of the Go Gamers, signing out, and thank you for listening to Gamers Den. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye!